Good morning, everybody. It's Roland, Barbecue Smoker Pros, Brasselton, Georgia. And we're going to do a comparison between a reverse plate smoker and a offset, or we're going to call it a Texas offset with a front smoke collector. And we're going to do a grill. I get a lot of questions, like last night I had a question they didn't really understand the difference between a reverse plate and an offset Texas smoker, and that's fine. We're going to explain that today. Okay, this is your everyday 250 gallon Monster Firebox rib box. This is a reverse plate smoker. You can tell this is a reverse plate because the chimney is on the back. We're going to go over that. The chimney's on the back. That's a Texas offset. The chimney's in the front. That's a grill. The chimneys are right on top. What does this mean? It means that your smoke, your fire is in the firebox. It goes under the smoke. You see this, re this plate here? Can you see that? This plate is welded on this model here. They wanted it welded. This plate is welded right to the firebox. So the smoke from the firebox goes under this plate, goes all the way down here, and here's the opening. So that means the smoke, the hot air, the smoke is going to heat that reverse plate. Going to superheat that plate. So in the fat, the blood, the drippings, the rub, the sauce, when it drips onto this, some of it will evaporate because of the heat, will re-coat your meat, re-moisturize your meat. The rest of the fat will go forward. I don't know if you can see the drain hole right there, but I'm going to show it to you right here. There's the drain pipe right there should have a little bucket down here we can put a valve on it people ask for that but valves are very expensive so expect to pay more for a valve now the smoke is here comes up goes through your meat and out the chimney so reverse plate smoker is exactly what it says you have a plate goes about 80 percent the smoke and heat from your firebox, again, this is your firebox, big monster firebox. The smoke goes in through those grates, and we put actually expanded metal to keep bark and newspaper and crap out of your smoker. And you can see the, the light on the other side. So again, the smoke and heat goes under that plate, up through here, goes through the meat, back out through the chimney. Now, what are the benefits of a reverse plate smoker? Number one, your meat is probably your most expensive product that you're serving. Obviously, baked beans don't, I mean, cost money, but not as much as butts and ribs and chicken and steak and things like that. So your meat, your protein is the most expensive. So putting the protein here on these racks with a reverse plate smoker, there is no way that fire from that firebox is going to burn your meat. And there's no way fire is going to go from there all the way under that plate through here. So number one, you're not going to have burnt meat. Nobody wants burnt meat. Number two, because the smoke and heat goes under that reverse plate, it evens the temperature out quite a bit throughout this. Now, don't get me wrong. People will yell at me and they'll be put notes in the comments, but this area over here is going to be hotter than this area. Obviously, you have a firebox. That's where your heat is. You have your chimney. So this is where you put your thicker cuts of meat, your medium cuts of meat, and your thinner cuts. But again, with the reverse plate, it's going to even a lot of that heat out. A lot. 
and over here is a great place to put your water pan. I have a water cast iron water kettle like bucket that I put in the bottom here with my special mixture. So when the smoke, that hot smoke and heat comes, picks up that water moisture and recoats your meat with extra flavor and moisture and things like that. I can see the video is getting really long, so we're probably going to make this into a three-part video. This will be about the reverse plate. Any questions, put questions on the bottom. Again, the, all three, reverse plate, Texas offset, and grill are different styles of smokers. This, in my opinion, this is my opinion, is one of the easier styles to cook on because you don't have to worry about the fire burning your meat. You're just talking about hot smoke and air. Give us a call, holler text 770-866-2561. I hope that helped out. Any questions, just put them down in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Barbecue on.